today's video, we're taking the cream out of 1,000 Oreos. Welcome to the dessert table. I'm happy to be here. I don't know about you, but I'm very, very happy to be here. We got here. some Oreos. We have 1,000 Oreos, and they all got lots of stuff. We got double stuff, we got family size double stuff, we got party size double stuff, and we got mega stuff. I love Oreos. They're one of my favorite desserts, probably. I can eat it. The interesting <laughs> thing is they're not made with milk. They're like accidentally vegan, so there's no dairy in it. I'm allergic to milk. I can eat Oreos. So I do. Now, we got a thousand, because that's a good number. And I really want to know, what can we do with the cream of a thousand Oreos? Here's the basic idea. We've got 1,000 Oreos, and we're gonna take the cream out of each one and see what we can do with it. We like to freeze dry stuff here on the channel and then eat it. We also like to put stuff in liquid nitrogen, maybe make some dragon breath. So I have employed Grace to help me take the cream out of 1,000 Oreo cookies. And I feel like this is payback for the uh, crayons. It's right there, it's still here. Yeah, I need gonna to. It's gonna haunt us forever. I'm just gonna throw so many Oreos at Grace, she's gonna never want an Oreo again. I'm okay with that. Well, we got two bowls. We got one for our cream and one for our cookies because we're gonna keep the cookies. Maybe we'll do something with them later. That would be super dope. Let's see what happens. Just put on some music and start peeling Oreos. Is that the right word, peeling? Yeah, I think so. Peeling got Oreos? some knives, so I did realize that's the easiest way for this process Take to happen. Them off. You don't just wanna twist them all? And... You know, I was doing that, but then you have one side, and so then, then... Use the cookie as a spoon. Yeah, but then you get cookie, you get it like on there and you don't want it to like, you don't want to lose. Yeah, but if you do this, like it just. It's probably easier to do it that way. Yeah, <laughs> and then we can, uh, we can save the cookies. They'll go in here. We'll see you in a little bit. We're <laughs> gonna do this like really, really fast. Ready? Go! Set, go! So before we get into the Oreo cream, we gotta talk about the amount of cream. Grace has the double stuffed and I got the mega stuff. Which yours looks way fuller than mine. Yeah. So you were telling me that this has 1.86. The amount of cream as a normal Oreo. Wow. It's not truly double, right? Even the mega stuffed, so it's not a triple, the mega mm -hmm. stuffed is 2.68 times the cream of a regular Oreo. So we're getting gypped. What? Yeah, it's not double. Oreo, step up your game. But we have a lot of cream. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at our masterpiece. I don't know. I, this no, is, this is a masterpiece. I am such a kid in a candy store. Like, this is the best ultimate thing you could. Oh no, you know, we need to double cookie it. So it's like, got the strength. Nice. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh. That's yeah. like mm, ultra, mm. ultra mega stuff. So we've got so many Oreo cookies. You see, we've all up an entire tub of the cream, and then we have four bowls of just the cookie that are nearly all overflowing. <laughs> so many. So many of those. But this video is about the cream. Mm. So we're gonna get rid of the cookies, focus on the cream. We freeze dried some, put some in a vacuum chamber, we've got liquid nitrogen. Let's see if we can melt it too. So let's just move these real quick. All right. All right, I'm super hype about this. The freeze dried. Yes, because. This looks so cool. We did six just like creams. It was so cool because when you. And then a, a ball. Yes, what was so cool is like you were like, I want to put them like on here. And I was like, I think that they're going to get like. <laughs> and they flatten. Mm -hmm. Just completely flatten. Like this was like this high and just like a wide it's blob. Like a fist of yeah. Oreo cream. And it just completely flattened out. Now, I'm so amazed. I don't know if we're going to be able to pry it up. Come on, pop up a little bit. I'm kind of breaking it. Let's try it out. Powdered. Powdery. Very powder sugary. It tastes like, yeah, if you're making your own frosting uh -huh. with powdered sugar and butter and you've overdone the powdered sugar, mm -hmm. that's what it tastes like. Now, since this is the big one, 
I still do just want to go through it. Nice. Oh yeah. Yeah. Come on. Ooh. Woohoo! Yeah. That looks neat. Cheers. Neat. Oh, hold on. That looks like like a trident, even though there's four. It's like four fingers Yabba! coming out. It's like a hand. Okay, oh, now we can cheers. We'll cheers, cheers to the hand. Link. This one tastes better, but look at the oil it left behind. Mm hmm It's like powdery, but smooth mm -hmm. a little bit, which is interesting. Like, yeah, Oreo cream is smooth, but it's obviously more, a little bit airy and fluffy. This is like condensed. condensed. Like, look at me break this apart. Compared to this, that just like... It just folds. Folds on itself. Next up, I think we should use this. Mm, You've seen this, mm -hmm. you know what this is. I'm gonna take a spoonful. You're just gonna be making it rock hard. Mm -hmm. This. Don't, don't waste the That's cream. That's rock solid. All right, you ready? As expected, go for it. <laughs> Trying to bite through it. Oh, well, it works pretty well for dragon's breath. Mm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That's it. You like this one better? Mm-hmm. Because it melts, you get this like sweet. Mm. It's like ice cream. Mm-hmm. It's kind of, you know, it's cold, it's cream. We just iced it. We have a, oh, you want to do vacuum chamber? This yeah, well, is, I mean, we can do them both. I'm going to take a, this and I'm going to put it on the hot plate to see if it does anything. Wow, this melted so quick. I literally just like put it on here. It's on medium heat. So it has a very low melting point. I'm thinking this is just kind of like sugar and butter and everything. So you could actually turn the Oreo cream into a super nice icing if need be. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. That's money. That's topping for ice cream, for brownies, for cookies. Yeah. How's it on the cookie? Your mind's about to be blown. Mm. That is just like coat the cookie. Melted Oreo cookie cream. 10 out of 10. The vacuum chamber. This is amazing. We'll see if it expands. So when you put marshmallows in the vacuum chamber and it just gets huge, right? So we're gonna see what happens with the Oreo cream as well. Oh yeah. Go little friend, go. Well, we're not reached a true vacuum yet. It may have just been the initial like not being packed tight that caused the air to come out and expand just a little bit. But we're definitely not seeing what you see with the marshmallow because that happens quick. What a grand finale. Nothing. <laughs> if I undo it, see if anything changes. Oh. Oh, it grew a little bit. So we saw it a shrink. It had a little air bubble in there. Just a little bit. You guys, this was so fun. We now know what an Oreo cream does in the freeze dryer. When you cook it, which was our favorite way to Number eat one. it. This was amazing. On top of the Oreo cookie, incredible. And then of course, liquid nitrogen, which is always a TKOR favorite. Let us know if there's anything else you would like us to do with some Oreo cream or Oreos themselves. We love to eat and we love Oreos. So let us know in the comments below. We'd love to see your ideas. Mm -hmm. And stay tuned to see what we do with all them cookies. Well, that's it for today, guys. But you know, we always got great videos out. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down in the corner. And we'll see you in the other one. Talk to you guys.